Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival. So right now what I want to do is just talk with you about the pros and cons of using an abandoned industrial area like the one we're looking at now. Uh, I've seen several videos that talk about using these kind of uh, places as shelters and just kind of wanted to cover a little bit about my thoughts on that. So the first thing, uh, the good thing about using these shelters is that many times they are on the outskirts of town. So if you live in town in an urban area and you're trying to get away from people, then this may be a good potential option for you. Um, it might be a good, you know, first night stop or something along those lines, you know, on your way to getting out into a more remote, more rural area. But... Um, and, you know, these, these will offer uh, some protection from the environment. They're going to offer some, you know, uh, a break from the wind. You know, you uh, could potentially um, find some amount of resources to maybe have a small fire or something like that, you know, for a short period of time. Um, but there's also some downsides that can come with these kinds of shelters as well. And I think Honestly, in my opinion, there's probably more downsides than there are uh, upsides to using this kind of a shelter in an urban environment. Um, clearly, uh, broken glass and debris is going to be uh, present and could be a safety hazard. Um, you also have the fact that it's just a lot more dark inside. You know, you're not going to have electricity. You're not going to have visible light, you know, in, in many instances or or when you do have some light, um, it's going to go away quicker, you know, in the evening. Um, there's also going to be a lack of resources from a, you know, fire building perspective as well as a food gathering perspective. You might have some limited ability, you know, to scrap wood and stuff like that to be able to burn a fire. But as a general rule, you're not going to find a lot of flammable items in there for building fire and keeping your body at 98.6. Additionally, if you do build a fire in an environment like this, you're going to be highlighting yourself quite a bit. Uh, you'll see some pictures here at the end of this video of this building from the outside at dusk. And if you can imagine a fire um, you know, being built inside there, it's going to glow and light up quite a bit and let people know that you're there. You've also got uh, additional risks of falling, uh, things falling from above, you know, buildings that are starting to deteriorate and stuff like that, um, as well as, like I said, trip hazards and, and you know, just maybe old staircases, old, um, you know, landings and things like that that may, you know, be in disrepair and could potentially cause you more injury uh, than they're worth. Um so, you know, they do, they do offer some positives, but as a general rule, most, I think the, the most of these are going to be negatives. Anyway, guys, as always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys. And let me know what you think about these kind of shelters in the comments below.